What's up everyone, it's Pinia. Welcome to Blood of the Nord. This mod is supposed to be set after um you win the Civil War with the Stormcloaks. This won't work after the Imperials um win the Civil War. Basically the idea is fighting against the Talmor, so you could either um beat the Civil War quest line with the Stormcloaks, or you know just join the Stormcloaks and um type in like Civil War Objective 255. If you're lazy you can do this. That's about it. I'm gonna murder you if you don't stop talking about me. Okay, I know you're my biggest fan, but can you fuck off, please? Can you? Can you? What the fuck are you doing? He made me do it, okay? He fucking made me do it. He just won't fuck off. Okay then, finally. I'm going to Castle Dower, and the quest begins. Started familiar foes. And speak to Hrolf Witchslayer. Let's start this quest. Yes. Who are you? Hrolf Witchslayer. I recognize you. Stormblade, right? Yes, I saw you with Ulfric before the battle for Solitude. Great day for Skyrim. I'm sure you have all sorts of wild stories to tell. I'd love to hear them when I have some more time. You know, seeing as to how you are here, is there any chance you'd be interested in extra work? You see, winning the war was simple enough, but we're finding out that ruling Skyrim is a bit more complicated. Maybe you can help. There are a few problems that Ulfric has asked me to look into, so maybe you can do the field work. There'll be steady pay, of course. Interested? Well, since it's new, since it's new, sure I'll help. Good. Otherwise, I'd just keep sending requests via courier. The first assignment is to double down on our pacification of the Reach. Four sworn are running wild, and we need to snuff them out. Recently, a supply caravan was reported missing on the road outside Markarth. Four sworn are almost certainly behind it, so track down the caravan and then find the ambushers. Give them justice on behalf of their victims. I'll start you off with this one, but if you're eager, I do have other jobs. Just check with me when you're ready. Good luck. Thanks. Yep. Yes. You know, it feels like, um... It feels like... This thing was in Skyrim all along. Find the missing convoy. Jarl's Injustice. Ask Rolf about additional jobs. Alright, Rolf Witchflayer? Witchflayer? Hello. You have an extra work for me? I like your enthusiasm. Tell me, do you know Jarl Skald of the Pale? Old fellow who grumbles about giants and talks to Talos? Yes, that one. Well, his incompetence has given rise to an outbreak of banditry in the Hole. So much so, that people there are turning to other sources of help. An ex-stormcloak named Einar Brodax is positioning himself as a warlord in the Pale. To his credit, he is efficient in dealing with outlaws. Einar was a fine soldier, and he might have been a good Jarl, but Skald is Ulfric's man in the Pale. Skald is an idiot, but he's a loyal idiot. Seems legit. More importantly, we can't have regional strongmen popping up and taking the law into their own hands. There would be chaos. Understand this. All of Tambria was watching us right now. We have to show that we're united behind Ulfric and his laws. We cannot afford to be seen as lawless barbarians. Talk to Einar. Try to convince him to step down. If that fails, do what you must. Have we even heard about Einar? Speak with Einar. So the first one is um, Jarl's Injustice. Find the missing convoy. You know, first I'll do the... Um, the Yaws Injustice, because it seems a little bit more interesting than the previous one. So let's go. First time I hear about this kind of Yaws in the Pale. Where the fuck is this Yaws? In the fucking Pale? What? It's not that way, that's for sure. It's um that way. Are these gonna attack me? Cause I'm a werewolf. You want some? Yeah, but only if I get too close. 
I'll let you live this time. <laughs> References galore. And also, I'm, I'm wearing the Storm Lord. The Storm Lord armor. Pretty epic. You know what's funny? Um, I'm a Stormcloak elf. Yeah. <laughs> a Stormcloak Dunmer, should I say. But what the fuck is he doing in this... In this fucking cave? Does he fucking live in this cave? Like, what the fuck? Einar's keep. Oh, so he's a uh, Yarrow I shouldn't give a fuck about. The fuck is he? Speak with him. Well, things are... Oh, wow. Things are gonna get rough if he doesn't start talking. That's not him. A guard. Need something. Not really. Hmm? Wait, wait. Why the, why the fuck did he look alike? Don't tell me. What the? Oh, he's wearing barbarian armor. Okay. Another guard. What the fuck? <laughs> why did they look the same? That's what I want to know. Is this the y'all? Iron Broadax? Broadax? Wait, wait, wait. There's Thalmor in the cage? <laughs> I mean, should I even care about the Thalmor in the cage? What's with the Thalmor in the cage? Oh, here's your little project of mine. My unit snatched him up before he could flee Skyrim. Let me keep him in exchange for some mead. Cut his tongue out and broke his hands to make sure he couldn't hex us with that filthy elf magic. Bit him when we got bored. Found out he tortured some lords to death back in that keep of theirs. I make him watch when we kick his comrades into the pit. Whoa. We'll put him out of his misery someday. But first I want to see him crack. I told him I'd make it quick if he acknowledges Talos. Stubborn elf. What did he do in the war? I scouted and hunted Thalmor. They had free reign in Imperial territory. Heard a lot of people made others disappear, all for worshipping Talos. We mostly worked as scouts until the latter part of the war. Then the Thalmor panicked, tried leaving Skyrim. Most got away. Others, not so lucky. Bled some, burned some, crushed a few. <laughs> that was my favorite. Hearing them break apart under the stone. Whew. Bad way to go. So aren't you worried about the Talmor? As an individual, no. We just captured a few of their zealots like this one. Made them all disappear. Thalmor probably wrote them off by now. Now if you're asking me if I worry about the Thalmor in relation to Skyrim, then the answer's definitely yes. Civil War did a lot of damage. We're vulnerable at the moment. I don't think the Thalmor are as strong as they let on, though. They took their legs in the Great War, too. Of course, they'd have to attack us from the coast, and I'm confident we'd make any landing difficult for them. Don't they chance it now? Even so, we have to be vigilant. I wouldn't put it past the Empire to align with the Thalmor out of desperation. I don't know, though. Crazy times. I'm Rosasso Raylan, here on behalf of Ulfric. We need to talk. Stormblade, here in the flesh. This must be serious, or perhaps I'm just moving up in the world. Welcome to my keep. Help yourself to the fire and any vittles lying about. We came about them honestly, if in a roundabout sort of way. Down to business, though. What can I do for Ulfric? You're undermining Skull's authority here in the Pale. You need to stop. Skull's authority? Ulfric should know better. You know what Skull's authority is? Sitting on his ass and groaning about giants. That's it. I fought for the Pale. Fought for Skyrim. I bled. Only to come back and see chaos taking hold of my home because of Skull's stupidity. So I acted. I get results. I lead by example. I can't help it if people come to me for help. Maybe if Skull got off his pampered ass. 
I'm not stupid. I know how this will play out if I resist. However, I have made certain commitments. I want to see this thing through. Help me finish what I started, and I give you my word as a fellow Stormcloak that I'll step down and uh, take up farming. Okay, what do I need to do? Just deal with a few loose ends. The first is a bandit that's been evading me for weeks. Vicious bastard likes to carve up captives. Name is Gretter. No nickname, surprisingly enough. He's killed six of my men already. One claimed they saw Greta fight with a sword in his gut. That was probably just skooma or beer talking. But Greta's survivability is odd. Seems you know more about fighting oddities, though. Good luck. Thanks. I don't want to cause any bloodshed. Because he's a strong cloak like me. And because maybe I've caused enough bloodshed with the other mods already. Kill Greta, but he said, "Oh, Fort Hell, <laughs> Fort Hellfammer, not Hammerfell." All right. At least the mod is convenient. All right, hello there. That's better. Let's get what should I use? Unrelenting force. Yep. Well, not this place again. What the? F oh, there I go. That's how you get up. Oh. I'm gonna do this, bitch. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> one hit. You're gonna be fucking kidding me. You're so ugly, he says. Well, it's no lie. How the fuck do I get up there? I just need to cross this and... <laughs> Motherfucker. Don't run from me. I said, don't fuck it. I can't fucking run right now. I, could take you I said, don't run from me, motherfucker. What's the hurry? Oh, what's the hurry for your early grave? I don't know, man. What is the fucking hurry? That bitch fell off, didn't she? <laughs> She's scared. I can take you. Oh, you can take me? What the fuck were you hiding then? Bitch. Oh, let's go into this fortress and kill this bandit later. Can I go up? What's up? Oh, nothing. Oh, oh there's uh, some arrows, which I don't need. Should I go up or down? Um, I think that one's actually um the mine. So let's go in the garrison. Okay, this better not be one of those quests. Don't kill me, other one says. Don't kill me, other one says. Don't kill me. <laughs> He's a vampire? Oh, so that's why he survived so much. Look at that regeneration. He has some regen. The bandit chief, where the fuck did you come from? You know what? You can fuck up bandit chief. What kind of s <laughs> a real war can die? I didn't know that. That regen though. Holy shit. No, this is all I got. Here you go. Here's all of it, motherfucker. Oh. Inform Aner that Greta is dead. Yeah, I did. I did come out better than that. He is a vampire. Yeah, no, really. Real fucking. Real fucking ugly one too. Ugh. I see my fucking. I see my arms. Why? Why the? 75. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go back. Let's just go back. <laughs> that is really better than that one. Ah. The deed is done. Let's pick the um, Einar. Greater is dead. Turns out he's a vampire. That actually makes sense. Strange beast vampires, always popping up and causing trouble where you least expect. 
The next problem that needs solving is a certain Kato. He was an Imperial soldier that we captured some time ago. After questioning him and uh, utilizing him for manual labor, I ordered some men to dispose of him. I underestimated Kato because he somehow escaped. That's not the end of it though. Now he's leading what I believe is a band of bloodthirsty Imperial partisans who attack Nords on sight. I'm not a Nord. Men, women, children, doesn't matter to Kato. They kill them and rip them to pieces. I suspect they may even be uh, cannibalizing them. Find Kato and his band of savages. Then show them the axe. Good luck. I will show them Uthrad. The southern node at night. Oh, it's kind of night, isn't it? What time is it? 11 a.m. Nope. Okay, that's night enough. That's night enough. I believe 6 p.m. is long enough. Long enough. Is he here? No. Is he gonna come up behind me or something? Oh, there he is. He's a werewolf. Who are you? Not another of Ina's men, are you? You have his scent, but it is faint. A hireling sent to kill me, yes? Lie to Einar about Kato's death or kill Kato. Well, you know, I don't know him. So... I don't know. I'm Rosasso Raylan. They captured me, beat me, burned me, made me work for weeks. Then they went to kill me. If not for the werewolf, I'd have perished. That is why I hunt them. I wish to repay the cruelty of the pale and kind. I know that Einar will keep sending men until I'm dead. Let me pass, and I will leave this place. I swear it. I will go to some place wild, unpopulated. Soul's time, perhaps. Einar and I are even now. Whatever you decide, know this. Einar is more a monster than I could ever be. Do not trust him. Do what you will. I don't fully trust him. I don't fully trust him, okay? So I'll let, I'll let Kato live. Will he buy it if I... The question is, will he buy it if I lie? I will lie to him then. Kato is dead. Good. There is one last matter to investigate. Someone is burning travelers in the pale. I suspect it is a rogue pyromancer. We have a few leads on the attacks, but I can point you to the most recent ambush sites. Good luck. Thanks again. Investigate the first attack site. Alright. He wants to step down. And now we're on a cool quest. Hello. Mm, opposite way. Let's go and go. I want to investigate. Be like freaking Sherlock Holmes and hello. Troll. Well, that's a nice raid. Like the first one I killed for joining the Stormcloaks. Okay, attack side. Like over here or something. The fuck even happened here? Oh, hello. Burnt corpses. A bone meal. Hmm. Alright, I'll try investigating. Wait, I saw something. Oh! 
Sign Amel of Standar. I didn't fucking see that thing. Didn't even see it. I think this is where I learned um, Master Spells. Don't tell me it's um, standard fanatics now. Oh, they are fanatics, believe me. More burnt corpses. Another sign I am a little standard. Speak with Vili Vigilant Andre. So is he who's... This air is pure and clean. Come to admire the handiwork of Stendar's faithful. Iniquity is always cleansed by fire, you know. Confess your sins, and Stendar will be merciful. Are you in league with Daedra? Do you fornicate with vampires? Tell me the truth. Why did you burn those people? They mocked us after the hall was destroyed by those fanged devils. Useless, weak, so many brothers and sisters killed. Ugh. At first, um, I mourned. Then, Stendar began to speak to me. Oh yes, he speaks to me. I am to purge devilry from this land one soul at a time. The attack on the hall was punishment for our weakness, our Irreverence. We will return to the true path of righteousness. You're quite mad. Your charred corpse will make a fine monument to the might of Stendar. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm to have Asshole. Asshole. You ask questions later. <laughs> Nobody protects you. Vigilant Andre, Paladin Gauntlets, Ebony Mage. Well. Oh, he's a fucking crazy vigilant again. Hmm. A fucking crazy vigilant tender. He's quite mad. He's a fucking lunatic. That's what he is. A rogue, a rogue vigilant standard was behind the burnings. I took care of him. That's good. Very good. You've exceeded my expectations and fulfilled every part of our agreement. Except for one matter. You lied to me about Kato. One of my patrols caught him attacking a farm. He had already eaten the little ones when they happened upon him. They slew him, but... It could have been avoided if you'd simply kept your word. This has been an important lesson for me on the matter of trust. Even if I retire, there's no guarantee Ulfric or Skald won't do me in. The only peace I'll have is from a position of strength. You may go, but tell whoever sent you that I'm not stepping down. The Pale needs me, whether or not I have Ulfric's approval. I know you have the power to end us all, but hear this. Should you leave me be, me and my men will fight at your side should you call on me. With that, I leave you to make your own decision. I wonder what's gonna happen if I didn't lie to him about Kato. Well, I'm just gonna... F Find out, then. Just gonna have to find out that... the freaking tougher way. Let's see. Prepare to get killed. I use my strongest electrical attacks. Screw Wootrad. Wow. He's strong. And dead. Strong and dead. Cattle won't be a problem anymore. Good. There is one. We have a few leads on the. Well, for some reason, there's no text when I speak to him. So I guess I'll make up my own. I've dealt with the necromancer.
of Stendhal. As if those fanatics don't have enough problems, now they're roasting random travelers. And I was confident it was a pyromancer. Goes to show. Well, you've taken care of all my little errands, so now I must honor my end of the bargain. As promised, I will return to farming. For now. If Ulfric wants Skald, he can have him. As for me, I'll be in Falkreath. I don't think the Pale will be safe for me without armed men around. For what it's worth, thank you. I didn't expect you to follow through. But maybe I've grown too cynical. Take care of yourself. Thanks, it too. Inform Rolf of the that Einar has retired, okay? Alright, Rolf. I took care of your problem. Yes. <sighs> Einar agreed to retire peacefully. He won't be a problem anymore. Good. That's exactly what we needed. No bloodshed. Everybody goes their separate ways. Excellent work. I have a rather sensitive job. Could use your attention. Just speak to me when you're ready. All right, Yaros Injustice. Um, the breaking of ice. Oh, I remember this. About the mission. But how about we find the missing convoy first? All right, let's go. Thanks for watching. A like and a comment is always appreciated. But if you want to go the extra mile, then subscribe as well. I upload daily gaming videos so it'd be in your best interest to subscribe if you like them.